What's up, YouTube? I hope you guys are having a great day. I know everything's crazy right now with the whole COVID-19, and I just want to make sure you guys are doing okay, reminding everyone, stay home, be safe. You never know, you know, there's a lot of people that are affected by this. If we could all do our part, it'll make this go by a whole lot quicker. Well, enough of that. I hope all of you guys are fine, and if you haven't told, if you haven't seen by the title of this video already, we got a new look for my 370Z. And I have a lot of, I have a feeling a lot of you guys are gonna have questions on it. So I got some new Nismo bumpers for my 370Z. I ordered them from Z1. I know you guys are gonna be asking around how much it costs, and it all depends on the setup. But just for the front and rear, I think it goes for like around a thousand to like a thousand three hundred, depending how many extras you buy with it, like the under shroud, the fender liners, emblems, etc. So I just got them back from paint today and it's actually behind me, but I'm not gonna show you guys that till we get to the house. But I'm actually gonna take the car apart first and then we'll mount it on there and then you guys will see which ones I ended up getting and then we'll do a little montage of it. So enough of that, I'll walk you guys through how to take everything off. So let's get to it. Six and a half hours later. All right guys, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is jack up the car because we're gonna have to take the wheels off to take the fender liners off and then from there we're gonna have to tear the top of the car apart to take the tail lights off and then from there we'll reach some clips in order to take the whole bumper off so i'm gonna give you guys a montage of me doing that and then we'll pick it up from there all right guys so now there should be a total of two screws on each and then from there i believe there's one two three four five six seven seven clips inside the, holding the fender liner and then there's one bolt here which if i put you guys down here i don't know if you can see it the camera probably won't focus on it right here you're gonna have to unbolt that so once you have all that off we can pull the fender liner off Get that out of the way. So from here, now we're gonna go up to the top and then we're gonna take the whole inside apart and then from there we can reach the clips to take the bumper off. But you're gonna wanna repeat this whole process on the passenger side. So we'll pick it up from there. All right guys, so in order to take this off, you're gonna wanna peel this whole rubber liner off. So this comes out just like that. You're just gonna wanna pull it. You can leave this off to the side and then from there, there's gonna be one clip here, two clip here, there's a third one in here, fourth one on this side, and then you're just gonna to wanna to pull these up and up like that, so out and up, and they pop out. From here, same thing, you're just gonna pull these, and then from there we can get to the tail lights, which has one, I believe it's an eight millimeter or a 10 millimeter holding the tail light in, and then from there we can get to this part, pop these off with two tens, and then the tail light should come right out, and then from there we'll have access to the clips holding the bumper. So I'll give you guys a montage of that. So that's the eight millimeter holding together the tail light. You wanna take this off. And then from there, you should be able to take the tail light off. Please tell me you're recording. 
didn't get to see that. I don't know if you can zoom in on this piece. Just a clip. Boom. Just like that. You have to tail that off. Alright guys, so now we are underneath the car. If you have the IGM toy fog light, you're gonna have to go under. I already took one clip off. There is a total of I don't know if you guys can the camera can focus. Um, there is there you go two bolts here that you have to take off and then the fog light comes off and so once you take this off then we can remove the bumper from the top okay guys so I want to apologize because the video corrupted but the last part I left you guys off on was taking off the rear fog light from there it's just two clips that are holding this and then you can literally just pull the bumper straight off you put the new one right back on just put the new fender liners on and then from there you're pretty much done with the rear Head and just had it all blacked out so this is the rear of the car done with the wing and the louvers the fitment was pretty much spot on that's what happens when you get it from the dealer in regards to the emblems i took the old ones off my old bumper put 3m and then just cut it to fit and then bam just slap them right back on there and now here is the front bumper and we're gonna throw this on the car and hopefully the video for this doesn't corrupt i'm recording with a different camera so we'll see how it goes from there okay guys so the next thing you're gonna want to do is take off all these clips from the top part of the bumper and then from there we'll move on to the fender liners So, once you have all that off, you're just going to repeat this process on the other side. And then from there, we can pull the bumper off, but you're going to want to unclip the fog lights. Here go. I'm just going to be putting on these accent pieces. So these, literally, they just clip on. I went ahead and wrapped this the same color that I had wrapped my 350Z, the gloss blue raspberry. So I'll just throw these on and we'll get to go. Now we just gotta put the clips back on. Okay guys, so once you have the bumper on, you put the clips on, Z1 gives you these finishers, which you're going to have to put onto the bumper. These are going to fill in these little pieces that are right here. So I'll give you guys a montage of that. Okay guys, so if you haven't noticed, there's quite a bit of a gap right here. And so that's why Z1 gives this piece. So it's going to pretty much fit like this. Normally they use rivets to secure this, but I don't really have any rivets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use self-tapping screws and I'm going to bolt it up to it so it'll line up just like that. So once again, I'm going to use self-tapping ones and I'm just going to bolt it on in there and then I'll, give, I'll show you guys to the final product of that. So guys, I put self-tapping screws for all three of these and then I drilled an extra one just because I wanted to hold it nice and secure. So let me zoom in on there for you guys. So it should look something like that and it covers the gap that's normally right there. So now that all that's done, you're pretty much done installing the bumper. You just got to put the new under shroud on.
So once you finish putting that last piece back inside, you're pretty much done with the conversion. I went ahead and put everything back, transferred the emblem from my old bumper. I just want to thank you guys for tuning into this video. If you guys want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.